everybody. This is John Payne. Well, welcome you to Scrap Mechanic Survival. Hopefully you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't forget to mind you all to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens. Because here we are back with some more Scrap Mechanic Survival. And I just got done doing a, a, a farm and run and getting stuff together. Uh, today, I really want to go ahead and get the other two guns knocked out. Last episode, we got like enough farmers. And then this episode, we're going to go ahead and grow the broccoli and the... Uh, pineapples and stuff that way we can be well have that out of the way also i want to start getting into getting a scrap metal slash circuit board farm together uh where it would be a farm for spuds that would only be there to get attract uh mobs and stuff like that and then kill them and then collect the stuff and then we be winners but yeah we got a lot of stuff planned for today i don't know if we'll get to the scrap thing um also i've been thinking of, remember how i asked a couple episodes ago what you guys thought about mods or changing gather rates i haven't done that but i've been thinking about the issue itself and i've come up with some ideas uh, that i think would be more gameplay centric than just turning up numbers uh, that would add more end game, but I think we can do a separate video about that. So be on the lookout for that, and that way you guys can check it out and let me know. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and um, I actually need to go and get the rest of the chests we have down at the uh, the the packaging plant and whatnot. Maybe I'll show you guys one of the areas that we've been clearing out uh, <laughs> all the the resources from. Maybe you can see kind of the scope of some of the damage we've done so far too. That way, I don't know. Some people have been wondering like. You know, how do you, why you got all the stuff? There's a reason why we got all the stuff. We, we farm it. We, we legitimately go out and farm it. And that's what happens. Anyway, um, yeah, let me go ahead and get the other chest here and I'll swing by the, one of the spots and you guys can check it out and tell me what you think. Anyway, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. And we're headed over here. As you guys know, the, some of this is already cleared out before like that over there, but this side, um, I forget where we're at with it, but I have clear cutted everything. Like if it's if it's a non-renewable resource, trees or wood or stone, it's all been removed. So all that goes all the way down to the water, except for two trees. I left those two because they seem like it matches that area. Then over here, you will see complete desolation that has non stopped. I started I stopped going across both roads back at the other spot, and then this is across here. If you look down there, there's nothing. Also, as we travel into this lovely little area over here, there used to be lots of trees and stones at one point in its life. There is no more farmable trees here. As you can see, let us continue on with the, the, the showing. Look, there's nothing left over here, nothing over here. It is still completely barren of any trees or rocks or anything. As we continue on, we are still not finished. There is more area left to cover to show. Look, there's <laughs> more stuff gone. Oh, that reed spawn, that's nice. Um, oops, 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 there we go. Let's go this way. There we go. There's even more trees gone and more stones gone and more trees gone all the way down that way and more stone gone and trees gone over here and it, it goes even further. Yes. <laughs> wow, I actually haven't done it like this before. So this is the first time seeing it in this full destruction. You can see where I kind of cut off the side. And then just clear cut it all this all the way across. These used to have trees, rocks, all of it, you name it. All the way down. Oh, there's there's corn. Current. Oh, we get stuck in the current. Are we stuck in the current? Are we stuck in the current? Don't be stuck in the current. Don't be that way. Don't be that way. Don't be that way. There we go. I, I know I can get out and done it, but and then we cleared up all the way to that POI, and then over where the where the ship is where it crashed at. Uh, there's a big clearing of that too, and then there's multiple clearings of like just rocks gone because I used a lot for the bridge. So, uh, this is probably the most visually stunning area. If you guys have been watching the series since the beginning, you'll know that this area was completely filled with like resources. Like, like seriously, this is, this has been a, uh, this part of the labor of love of doing this series. So I figured I'd at least share that with you guys. Again, I don't do any grinding videos because I think it's boring and, um, I'm, I'm just not into, you know, I try my best not to be too boring. We try our best maybe. But yeah, that's 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 kind of the desolation of everything here. This cuts back this way over here. And where you see the tree line is, that's on the other side of the mechanic station over here. So it, it's there's pretty much, it, you guys know there used to be forests, like lots of forests this way. So anyway, I just figured I could share that with you guys so you can see uh, what we've done <laughs> and uh, why we've been able to have the stuff we've had to make things happen. And the same thing goes for other resources, the renewables. Hey, you going for a ride? No? Okay. Um, the renewable resources, you know, like the beeswax, the cotton, the oil, 
the uh that's one good thing I'm glad we get the bearing drive on our two main vehicles is because i go through uh gas for for the deforestation and stuff currently and um anyway that we get clams uh, component kits and uh circuits and then you know i'm i'm wanting to try and see how well of a scrap metal um slash circuit board farm we could put together to that that might help ease some of the the grindage too um i'll still need to find a way to for stone and whatnot but either way that's that's what we've got going on so i figured i'd share that with you i'm gonna go ahead and get up to the farm unload well unload this guy this has all the packages and stuff from well, where we built the trailer and um we'll get this unloaded and we'll get to planting and actually see if our sprinkler system still works so you guys hold on all right welcome back i got my last round of scrap wood getting changed into tier one wood now and we're gonna head on over here and get some stuff done now the last time we've ever used fertilizer was the last time we tested fertilizer was i think about 20 some odd episodes ago i've been collecting fertilizer since the beginning and also picked up some from the trader and i'm there we go okay, i was about to say i thought i had more fertilizer than that i was about to say so we have a good chunk load of fertilizer um potentially we can get uh we can get all the stuff fertilized that we want to fertilize or the fertilizations um where is our good seeds uh they're up here right and i put them up there what up what about my good seeds are they hiding somewhere now they gotta be hiding somewhere did i put them somewhere stupid oh god there they are i was about to say man that would have sucked um and it's six in the morn so that's not too bad now i haven't looked at my i haven't messed with my waterers oh god i gotta do i get water we're good okay we still got some water in there i've messed with these guys since um they did the update where pistons now or the controllers now respect the piston lengths um so we're about to find out how bad this is gonna suck or not i'm gonna put these guys here and then we'll put these guys here and just see okay it still works so if you don't mess with your controller with stuff that's already been set up with the controller it doesn't matter very nice and now we got the hotness going on and i missed that one no i didn't we're good to go now we got these guys going on so i gotta wait for them to get older um and then we'll mature fully and then i get another round of them and some more seeds and kind of repeat the process i'm just glad that this still works since i haven't messed with it now to let you guys know I, for we'll be building a new system um i don't watch other people's videos i don't want to see other people's stuff i, I just want to figure it's part of the fun of this game is figuring something out that works um for me so i, I want to get into in a fully automated but also have it aesthetically pleasing to where it's like maybe out of sight when not used i don't know but um that'll happen soon enough you know we've got a lot of stuff to do in the series still and it takes a little bit of time to get the stuff to do it the way i want to do it because i like the aesthetics going on as well so that's that that's one big thing for me is like trying to make things look kind of good at least if not really good and and try to make everything tie together with the function attached to it you know so that's just something to keep in mind when we're doing stuff or whatnot but either way now you guys know what we're trying to do over here and we'll come back whenever they get closer to stuff if something weird happens or randomness i will definitely be back before then if not we'll be back when we got a few stacks of these bad boys y'all hold on all right I'm, i just want to check in we're on the second round of crops it's been a, it takes a couple days to grow these even with fertilizer they should pop at any moment but i was hearing this huge amount of clang going on and uh well let me just show you what has happened um whenever the enemies spawn and the frame rate drops makes me extremely happy i didn't build a drawbridge but a drawbridge here because this is serious business y'all actually this is the first serious business right here as you can see our poop shoot is all jacked up it was sticking out the wall over here there you go the the poop shoot is screwed up and somehow it made it through the wall and then this the atrocity right here. First time it was sitting out the back. Second time now it's done this. Bob told me about it, by the way. He's, he's so he's so upset about the situation he had to turn away. But, um... Yeah. Uh, this sucks. <laughs> so when the frame rate drops around here, anything with pistons in it, is gone uh, pretty much uh thank god we don't have too much relying on them except this this really sucks that it's like this oh 
Oh my god. Yeah. I wonder if I if I restart my client, what's gonna happen? I don't know. I don't want to do that now and wait for the the food to get done. But we're gonna do at least one more round afterwards. I think I need five pineapples, five pineapple packages, and four uh, broccoli ones. Yeah, that thing's all jacked up, man. <sighs> Holy crap! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> great but i figured i'd show you that let you know where we're at um i did do a round of apples uh just because i that's probably my, mo my most used like consumed food so i just might as well since i'm waiting for stuff to happen to do that when i do one more round of broccoli and pineapple i will go ahead and and do a round of apples again just to get up there um i keep a full load of spuds on my car at all times but i might just do another round of spuds since we're gonna be playing around with the, with them guns here soon but yeah this should be popping up any minute now any minute. All right, we're finishing up our last round. Finally, it's been a while. I'm excited to get this done. Um, we've been through several waves uh, that have been down below. I know a couple of tape pots have shown up. Hasn't been a big issue at all because nothing spawned up here. I didn't know if something might uh, eventually or something like that, but still no issues with that. But we got all the broccolis. And we're about to have, uh, we actually have way more pineapples. I got way more pineapple seeds. I guess I started, I don't know. I guess, do we get more seeds from, oh, we'll have to check. We'll do, we'll do some checking for science here. Well, now I will because I've got so many more pineapples. It just seemed like I got more pineapple seeds, period, than I did from um, the broccoli. Get in my pocket, broccoli. Okay, and there's some more pineapples. And we're going to see what happens with this wave here in 26 seconds. In game, 24 minutes. All right. Anything else ready to go? Yep. Get you in my pockets. All you in my pockets eventually. And there's that. And how are we doing? Yeah, we've got a lot of pineapples now. Because I put away all my other ones in here. So we definitely have enough to buy the stuff that we need to buy. There's a big boy right there. Is he going to be able to get up here? I don't care. I'm just going to shoot him. Wait, do I have enough? I have some spuds up here with me. This is going to boss key out of this. Wow. Frame rate. Peace out. Holy crap. Bye bye. There's a tape bot over there. Don't fall down. That's definitely not a good thing. Where's he at? All right, got him on that hit. I still hear another one. Huh. <laughs> oh, I gotta get more of my broccoli. All the broccolis. Cool, we just killed a boss. That's the first time I've had a boss spawn during farming. Well, it's the first time we've grown the, this tier of fruits and veggies as well. Okay, that's finishing up. That's finishing up. Okay. Let's check out down here. Of course he walks away some. There we go. Peace out to you. Let's get a couple tape bot kills in. Kind of wish it was like XP or something like that too. To like kind of make the fighting the harder guys more worth it. I mean, we get batteries from them, but still... It feels kind of good to be able to shoot them at them, too, from this bridge. This bridge seems like it's going to hold up all right. Even if they knock out some of the supports down below, I mean, this thing's connected to the ground up here, so there's no issues. And they, I think some people kept saying it's going to pop out the ground. They patched that a while ago. It's been patched. It's been fixed. Is that all of them? Did we get everything? Are all the fruits and veggies in our pockets or our chest? It is. Let's see what the final count is on everything here. All right, so we're looking at... It was at 63 broccoli, 30, 60, 90, 101 pineapples, pen pine, no. Um, and this goes here, here. So we have now 71 broccoli seeds. And on the pineapple side of things, we're sitting at 129. That's actually not too bad. Let's put them in their respective boxes because I am done farming these for right now because that this has been this is like a long time. It's been a long time, y'all. <laughs> 
so that's done um we i guess we should make a trailer for our semi um just to transport fruits and veggies it's not gonna be anything fantabulously crazy because it's, it's a short drive anyway and um we just need to be able to load some stuff on there so uh i guess i'll grab some of the mats we'll do something basic just to get it up there and see how she works i don't think it's gonna be anything too crazy um and we should still have enough mats left to get it going so anyway uh, I'm going to wait for daytime. I'm going to grab uh, all the stuff we need to craft stuff up and meet you down below. All right. All right. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> and we're here and we're not going to do anything fantastical. We're just going to try and get something that's functional together and see how we do. Uh, it really actually only. Oh, wait, we need should actually. Okay. This one will take the broccoli, the veggies. This is the veggie stand. Let's pop in one of these blocks as I've already removed our other trailer and set it up over there. Um, and I guess we should go ahead and I threw, I threw it in here. So I had some stuff. Let's grab the broccoli. And people kept telling me that just turn on the switch and it'll continuously shoot. It hasn't happened for me yet, but I'll try it again. We'll try it again. Oh God, that moved, didn't it? It's, it's sliding down. Oh boy, that's going to cause an issue. Let's find out. Actually, it'd be a lot easier if I just did this. Let's do that right there. Is that lined up? No. Close, but no. Let's move it over and up one, like right there. Perfect. All right, we're in there. Let's grab our switch. So the switch on top of you. Let's throw this right here. Let's put that like that in there. Let's put in the broccoli. Let's see what happens. The switch is on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to do my little timer system. Uh, let's grab you. And I have the timer on here already. Let's just stick these on top. Let's get this right here. Let's do you, to you, to you, and then throw you here or something. And then um, remove this connection. Actually, no, 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 no. And then put you here. Let's remove this connection. Can't you go to the timer? Yeah, okay. All right, and we needed, uh, was it a nor? I forgot. And speed this up to slow this up to about right there, maybe. Did I do it wrong, or is this one a nor? Or there we go. There we go. Wait. Oh, it spit one out. Okay. Nice. Okay, there's a broccoli. Let's get a second one out. Speed this up a little bit. Turn that one off. So now we can use this to tell what we need to do with our setups. And again, this is just something simple. So let's see here. I have a feeling that the width is going to be the same as our buddies. Let's grab this. Can I build on you? Yes, I can. One, two, three, four. Four. One, oh, one, two, three. So that's seven. Will this go around it? All right. So seven is the space we need for that. So that's not too bad. So 14 of uh, uh, expected width of 14. So 15 plus a little bit more here. Uh, plus one more on either side. So we got one, two, well, that's three. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we have a middle row going in. Let's put you in a lift. Let's not do it that way. Let's do it this way. There we go. And that we still have the same spacing. And let's grab you and put you on here. And just make sure I give it the right kind of width here. It's a little bit easier than just doing it the other way. And then have you come back. And back some more. And 
Why not? One more. Are you maxed? You're maxed. Okay, great. All right, we'll do this side now. Uh, let's grab you. And this is just the bottom of it, so we're not going to leave these at this height. We're going to have connection points on this thing. I just remember the last time we did we, we tried to do a vegetable run. If you guys remember the last time we did a vegetable run. Uh, the madness that ensued. So, uh, I'd rather have the weight dispersed over a longer distance than height, depending on how much stuff we're planning on turning in, and go from there. That's a, that's a good amount. That looks good to me. All right, so we already have this worked out, and we have this worked out. Great. Right here. And then we'll work into some physical, visual aesthetics uh, another time. It's just taking so long to, uh, honestly, guys, we've been, I've been hours just to get the broccoli and the, the pineapple in the position of where we're at with broccoli and pineapple at the moment. I guess we can just do this. And I'm not sure about my depth of spacing, so we're going to have to do, maybe I can do this. Is it the same as the height and width? It looks like it is. No, it's a little bit shorter on the height. That's so minus one. That kind of sucks. I mean, that's cool and all. It means you can fit more in the height than all that stuff. Uh, let's br are you down any further. There we go. We can get you down a little bit further. Let's go ahead and bring this up. And we'll have enough for two rows. We'll do this for now. And we'll go one. So we'll use that as our bottom row. So we'll do one, two, three. Since it's seven. Well, it's only six high, but we'll do this instead. And then above that, we will do a, we'll do wood. And then maybe do the row like this. How much do I, I have enough? I have enough. We're good. There we go. And then you over here. Same thing over here. There we go. Maybe we could fill in the bottom with like wood paneling. And then I've got tier two wood on me, and then we could do the, um, we could do like the top with like screens. That'd be kind of cool. The chain link fence thing. I could go grab some of that. I know I still have some made. And by the way, I did reload a save just to double check and see how the elevators, if the elevator would, would fix itself and it got even worse. <laughs> so I'm going to have to disassemble that thing. That really sucks, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? All right, there we go. There, that's the spacing we're looking at and we're good across the bottom check okay great so if we have that kind of height we can kind of tell what we need for the other heights too well actually i wouldn't mind it sticking out a little bit the top so this is our point here let's just use let's use these guys wrong thing but whatever one two that's the bottom of this one so we need to go up four more one two three four for this one to attach correctly on top. Let's find out. Okay, great. And these can attach themselves, right? Okay, even great. Okay, that's I was just making sure. I guess it's been a little while, guys. The last time we did uh the veggies and stuff turn in, it was uh a long time ago. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. And that's how I think I want to do this. And the reason we're making it so big is just because it's really not that big. You guys remember how big we've gotten. I could stack on top if we need to. Okay, I think I'm going to do that thing with the wood. I'm going to go, I think we're going to use tier one wood though. And I'll go grab the, ch the chain link because I think that's a little bit off out of place here. So um, let me drop off this stuff here. Uh, I'm going to put these pineapples back in and grab my <laughs> oranges. The oranges. They're oranges, guys. They're not apples. Who keeps saying apples anyway? Anyway, uh, let me go grab the stuff. We'll get this thing back together. We'll be right back. All right, I throw something together real quick. I, I'm actually not mad at it. It's uh, I figured it'd be like, hey, but sometimes like a simple kind of works. It looks like it would be carrying, you know, like like stuff in it. You know, we got lots of stuff to put in it. Well, not a lot, but we we will in the future. But um, it, it, the, I'm worried about the clearance um and how it all ends up looking. In the end, I do need to paint the the wheels to match. Um, and I did. I ran out of diamond plating, so I couldn't get it. Like, I was going to do wheel wells on the side. That'd be really, really well if I did that. But um, no, nope, not this time. We're just going to get these together. I guess we're going to go straight over to the pineapple place next and see how the pineapple-ing goes. Oh, we, we'll need to do... Hmm. I guess I could go over there, do the pineapples, get them, get them to shoot out the side. 
And then, um, whoa, nice. I don't know if I got it or not. We'll see. That uh, was a little high. We got this. Oh, no, no, we might not. Oh, we got this. We got this. We're good. But uh, get the pineapples. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that and then have them spit out the packages. And then I guess I'll come back here, get the truck, and see how she rolls. Because I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see how we do. I don't think it's going to be anywhere near as bad as a four. Oh, by the way, I did add more weight to the front. And I upgraded the seat to level five and gave a little more turning on the front end. Uh, you know, we did make the front end really heavy when we originally built it. And I feel like moving the farmers are probably going to be the heaviest just because of what we got going on there. I don't know. This might be pretty heavy. But, um, the you know, you got to put the weight in the front. I tried to put it one-third forward from the back end uh, to distribute the weight. You might need to move forward a little bit more, maybe like a right around here-ish the wheels do. But um, And we've got the off-road ones, and they're fully compressed. Oh, boy. And I don't have any components on me. What does it take to upgrade you? four oh wait wait i don't have the i don't have them turned up yes get turned up it might be okay then we might be fine is that what i did on the other side have a little play oh that one up one more okay one more one more it is okay that is up actually at an angle now great uh, well we can fix that real quick so, oh, I got it loaded up. We can't fix it real quick. Okay, it is what it is. All right, I'm going to run over, and I'm going to grab these. I'm going to go over there. We're going to get the pineapples kicked out. Then uh, we'll come back when we're ready to drive the truck to see how bad I do. And, uh, yeah, so I'm I, I'm actually, again, other than the height of the back wheels, I might have to fix that, or like, as soon as we're done. I don't know. It looks like some people in their, their vehicles, whenever they're pulling stuff, it's <laughs> the back end's jacked up because the tongue's too low. But either way, I'm going to go down here. We're going to get the pineapples kicked out. I'll be right back. All right. We got the pineapples knocked out. Let's just see how bad this is. I don't know how people are probably yelling watching the video, but we shall see. Shall we not? Oh, not too bad so far. Go straight for a little bit, then curve. Uh oh, uh oh, already a problem. Already a problem. At least we made the hitch long enough to where I can jackknife the living crap out of this thing without the worry about it. It actually has, yeah, the turning, I don't know if it's just, oh, I forgot to fix the window. God dang it. Yeah, there's too much weight in the back. Eh, we'll make it work. All right, turn on the turbo. Turbo boost time now. Look how fast we are. It's actually moving okay. Uh, I'm gonna cut through. <laughs> We're gonna cut through. See how she does. Handles. Okay, great. We're not too wide, are we? Nope. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. We're fine. Yeah, I need to. I need to get some more weight in the front. Actually, if it was front wheel drive or I had rear wheel steering, okay. But we're trying to keep it looking like like that 1970s, like like an international or Peterbilt or something. That's kind of like where, where that is the mentality for case you're wondering. I'm not saying exactly like one, but it's pretty close and we're getting our use out of it. That's what's important. Okay. Let me kind of get better turning, I guess. The friction on it just like, hey, we have to go here. It actually is not too bad, honestly. Okay. All right. I don't know if we're going to get any action to action on the way there. I don't think we are. Seems like a nice quiet drive. And then we gotta get this thing loaded down. I guess we're not gonna have as much fruits and vegetables, but we're prepared for the future. <laughs> I feel like we should make like an actual semi truck, you know, um, dual axle like trailer to go with it. I think that would be the, something we need to do in the future. I was watching the lip of that on a hill. That's gonna suck. I, I'm semi worried going up the hill to the trader. All right. Turn. Okay. All right. Now this is the fun part. Stop. Oh, I had the I had the auto the, the the speed up stuff going on. This here comes the fun part. Okay, let's see if we can get out the door or not. Oh, we did. Nice. Excellent. Okay. So I need to load these guys on. I don't think there's anything crazy happening while I do that, and um, we'll be right back when we're ready to go. 
Okay, I front loaded it a little bit more than the back and just pop the shocks up a little bit more too so they were not completely compressed. Let's close this down and see how we do, shall we? Oh god, we gotta drive by the screwed up elevator too. We get to look at that. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least we're getting some turning. Uh, if they were powered, they'd probably pull more too. I feel like they're getting decent weight on there. All right, full speed ahead. Eh. Yeah, I, f I feel like it looks okay, honestly. It probably could use a bar across the top um, to kind of close in the fencing, but I, I kind of like how it looks. It just reminds me of like a regular trailer, except longer. Um, yeah, and um, all all of the uh, trailers, I'm putting that one wooden block in between the tongue of it and the actual build just to have um, my disconnect point for the tongue. Um, I probably should put like a marker next. Uh, it's just one up. I should be able to remember that. Actually, it needs to be up a little bit more in yeah, the hills. The clearance is getting interesting. All right, let's see how we do here. We're doing actually okay. We're doing good. We got some decent steering. I think it's because I'm going downhill. Okay. This is the, the most precarious portion of the drive. Since we kind of know how our steering is, though, we should be able to be proactive on our turning here. To where it doesn't really become an issue. We're going to pass the old ember forest on the right. And then take a hard right once we get down the road some. And our and our backpack we put uh, we, we like made happen our little little marker or beacon, uh like back on the second exploration episode it still has it's it stayed there I think I've seen some people say that it despawns and I've been way out, away from this rendering and logged out before and come back and it's still there so I don't know I don't know. All right, let's go. Over you. Got to get the horn. I gave him ample time. All right, let's go. We're just killing it, man. Holy crap. And an unnecessary hill. Oh, with rocks. With rocks. Ooh. Yeah. Pull it, baby. <laughs> At least we got the horns right. I feel like the horns sound right. This is actually going extremely well. Okay. Okay. Let's head, let's head over here. Let's be careful. Watch out for the screwed up elevator. Oh my god. Maybe we'll try the wheel then. I was worried about the wheel, um, or the bearing, like actually like causing bad frame rate loss. But if it's gonna keep doing that, the bearings seem to not freak out like whenever the FPS drops. So maybe we just need to try that out. Okay, turn off that. I think the terrain kind of messes with it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, we're going up. Okay. Ooh, not that. Hello, sir. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to pop your window. Oh, crap. Yeah, we're getting some slidiness on this dirt. Okay, hold on a second. Now we'll go straight. There you go. All right, we're pulling up. Pull it up. Okay, go in here. Take a right. Right a little bit. There we go. Pull it up. Pull it up. And it's a completely on. Oh crap! I forgot to. Oh god! Let's open the door. Oh, we got out again. No problem. Okay, cool. All right, so let's just check and see. We should be fine. Oh yeah, yeah. You like the pineapples, don't you? Suspension sure doesn't. Suspension doesn't like the sucking. That's kind of messed up. You should be excited. I'm so glad that they did this too, where we didn't have to worry about unloading them or whatever. Just the fact of us having to get it up here without a problem is is is, is enough. We have like two more. Nope, that's it. That is all our fruit and veggies for the day. Let's just check out Mr. Trader. Right. Hey, hey, man. Uh, six broccoli and ten pineapples. That means we can buy a spud shotgun trade and the spudling gun trade. Oh crap. Oh, 
Ooh, I, um, let's, shoot, let's shoot a tree. <laughs> I'm going to shoot you, Mr. Tree. Did that actually hurt it? No. That seems pretty powerful. Let's try the spudling gun. Holy crap, man. Wow. Wow. Okay. So I, I kind of like that, the differences here, because uh, our, our spud gun is kind of like long range, like nice, you know, targeted shots. Then you have you, which shoots out a, a bunch of them, like French fries. And then you've got you. It's not really that accurate. And we're out of, we're out of, we're out of spuds. I have some on my car. Let's go get that and try them out in some guys. All right. Got my back. Got my spuds off a car. Let's check out how this does against, uh, one of these boys. Hello. Hi. Can I interest you in some spuds? Hmm. How about the spud gun? Spud shotguns. The spud shotgun. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got to clean up those pieces here, but... I thought we had more of these guys laying around. Where'd they go? They go. Oh, there's one right there. Let's try. Let's try one shot on a greenie. Two shots on a greenie. Okay, I see some more guys running over here. Um, wonder how it does. I love how it's got potatoes in the fry basket too. That's amazing. <laughs> That's kind of weird too. Like, I guess the sights. As long as you can see those iron sights. Um. Two shots on them, too. That's actually really nice. Uh, Tate bots one shot to the head with the regular gun, so I don't know how much use would be for that. Let's try him. Ah, up close is where it's at. Now, I wasn't paying attention to the ammo usage, so let's see right quick. Two shots for that. Okay. That's fine though. We'll double barrels and double shot. Okay, that's not too bad. Huh, that'd be interesting to take. That would be interesting to take into the uh well we, we really with the I feel with the warehouse is like unless there's ends up being something harder, like this is good for like grinding out components though. That's definitely a time saver right there. Cool. Well, man, today has been an extremely long day. I don't know how exciting it's been for you guys, but I'm pretty excited to get the new weapons. Uh, we need to get the other wep uh, the other spud guns, too, for uh, mounted stuff or maybe um, defenses and whatnot. And uh, we, at least we finally grew everything there is to grow. So I, I feel good about that. I checked that off the list. And, well, what else? I really want to get the scrap metal possible farming farm together too and see how that goes but that is the time we've got for today hopefully you guys are like what you see if you're like what you see don't forget to slam the like button it does help me a lot really do appreciate it to the face to the face again and as always thank you so very much and you all have a good night Stike.